Oh, I know that music anywhere. Okay, this is what I have to say. Ryan Ocean is going around saying he is our duly elected heavyweight. I want to know where the ballots took place. I want to know what the count was. And who elected him the heavyweight. That's all I'm saying. That's all I would like to know. Now, Pat Cook, uh, uh, apparently Ryan Ocean's appointing a referee and Pat Cook, our ring announcer, to uh, hold the ropes open enough for our elected heavyweight. Now, don't get me wrong, he is no small man by any stretch of the imagination. He is who he claims he is. He is a heavyweight. <laughs> Apparently, Ryan Ocean's got something to say. I'm not going to Disney. Disney's for children. I go to Universal. Obviously, I don't understand what you're saying because you're from Mississippi and no one can understand what you're saying. Oh, uh, that's, that's, that's a little uncalled for. You know... Just, just three days ago, I was sitting there in the office talking with the Honorable Joe Biden, my boss, one of my best friends. One of his best friends. You can do all you want. He knows what's right for you. I know what's right for you. And before I get outside the train, hopefully you're vaccinated too. I know I am. I know, boss. I know, boss. I voted. And I told him I wasn't coming here unless I had heavyweight wrestling. Sure enough. The last guy was supposed to wrestle a rocket or firecracker or whatever they call him. I don't know. He got scared. He called out. So they did find the last minute anyway replacement, which is good for them. Unfortunately for him, well, he's going to have to hop on the wave and ride the ocean success tonight. Because I'm picking up the win. I'm going to be your future pro wrestling 225 champion no matter what. And I will represent 225 and show each and every one of you how a true heavyweight gets things done. He's not going to let that stand by, but the Rocket will have his the day down the road with Ryan Ocean. But here comes his opponent for tonight. Thaddeus Takeover Collins. This man is called a bulldozing machine, and just from the look of him, he can bulldoze anybody. And I would put money on he can bulldoze Ryan Ocean. Collins not, not afraid to, not afraid of a challenge, and he's willing to take on anybody. Including our, once again, our duly elected heavyweight, Ryan Ocean. But if that's how he treats his constituents, how in the world did he get elected in the first place? I've heard a lot of great things about Thaddeus Takeover Collins and what he's been able to do inside the square circle. Really excited to get a look and see what this young man can do.
Because as much as we, as much as I uh, make comments about him being our duly elected heavyweight, Ryan Ocean is still a very tough competitor here in PW225. And apparently he's rubbing something off of his, his uh, shiny shoes. I don't know if that's really proper wrestling attire. And I hope this ring is really reinforced. Look at the size of the humanity inside that squared circle. Ryan Ocean's got to be at least a good 270, 280 pounds. And that is Collins. He's got to be a biscuit over 300. And I mean that in the kindest way possible. I see I want for either one of those men to get be angry with me. Now, the referee trying to do, trying to do their job. They go Bella Summit and, and Ryan Ocean immediately goes to the outside. Ocean was boasting earlier that he was going to ride the ocean to success and get the win here tonight. But he's being very, very tentative about wanting to get in the ring with someone who's not only matches him in size, oh man, but Ocean kind of suckered him in. I was going to say matches him in size and power, but Ryan Ocean just, I hate to say it, but he just flat out outsmarted Thaddeus Collins. Lured him to the outside. And now throws him back in the ring. Again, Ocean's got a lot of a lot of comments for our referee. As well as some of the fans here in attendance. Big right hand from the duly elected heavyweight. Oh wait, my Collins coming back! Collins! Burning back with the right hands! Sends Ocean to the top turnbuckle! And now look at the bulldozing machine! Just bulldozing Ocean in the corner! Oh, what a double chop! By Collins! And Ocean! Oh no, Ocean! Oh! Another double chop! Right to the chest cavity of their duly elected heavyweight! And now sends him into the opposite corner and just collapses on Ocean. Oh, wait a minute, Ocean. Oh, oh my God, a cannonball. What a jelly, what athleticism. Bite. That is takeover Collins. That is absolutely amazing. Oh, but a thumb right to the eye. Ocean with one thumb to the eye and a clothesline. Ocean favoring that left leg a little bit. Not sure what happened there. Maybe his leg got caught up in that cannonball. That is a, a, a large amount of humanity coming down on your leg. That's right, and Ocean, just like Blanco Loco in our previous match, having somewhat of an issue with his left leg. Now Ocean with the right hands, just rocking back the bulldozing machine Collins. And catching them with a big back elbow. And again, that leg seems to be presenting an issue for Mr. Ocean. Oh, but now the shirt has come off. We've seen this in the past. Whenever that button-down shirt comes off, bad things happen. And now Ocean just choking that is Collins with that shirt. I'm not sure why the referee hasn't called for a disqualification already. And every time Ryan Ocean has taken off that shirt, bad things have happened to his opponents. And now Ocean just just cranking up the neck of Collins 
trying to apply more and more pressure. Oh, you can just see that that crank. That's hard to watch. Oh, but Collins trying to feed feed off the energy of the crowd here in Columbia. Scores with an elbow. Oh, but but Ocean just basically overpowered Collins and took him down the net. And once again, you can see Ryan Ocean just. He's got to be in a lot of pain in that left leg. We have to assume it's from when Collins landed with that cannonball. Might have hyperextended the knee. Hard to say at this point. But Ocean goes right back to the right hands. And since that is Collins to the outside, nearly collided head first with the, the ring steps. And this is really, really dangerous territory for Collins here on the outside. As you can see, there are no protective matting here. That is a straight concrete floor. Now Ocean with the forearm shivers. Just rocking the head of Thaddeus take over Collins. Oh, and he sends him head first into the steel post. And I've said this comment for years, ladies and gentlemen. The steel post will win every single time. And Collins in a world of trouble with the duly elected heavyweight Rhino. Oh, what a shot right there by Collins. Collins will not back down. Collins with a southpaw with those left hands. There's one, there's one thing you know about that is Collins. He will not back down from a fight. And the bulldozing machine collapses in the corner of Ryan Ocean. And now that is Collins. Oh, he went head first into the top turnbuckle and then eats the, the duly elected boot of Ryan Ocean and picks up the win. Thaddeus Collins made that one crucial mistake, went charging in head first into the corner. Ryan Ocean saw it, was able to avert disaster, and then was able to connect with that duly elected boot to pick up the win. So I'll give the devil his due. He lived up to his word. He proclaimed that he was going to get the win here tonight and it was a hard fought win for Ryan Ocean. Who might need to sit with an ice bag on his knee in the, in the locker room. Because if anything, Thaddeus Collins really brought the fight to Ryan Ocean. We get it done. I think Thaddeus Collins has got nothing to be ashamed of. Like I said, he brought a, the fight to Ryan Ocean. He just made that one crucial mistake, and Ryan Ocean picked up the win. 